Uh, okay, uh, last time we talked about the lexical verb, and we said, uh, said lexical verb can be either regular or irregular. Uh, of course, we don't have a problem with the regular, uh, uh, because just we will uh, add ed and ed for the past, and ed for the past participle. The problem is with a regular uh, lexical verb. So what is meant by irregular? Means irregular, this is for negation, er, no, means not, not regular, irregular. Here, if we want to add or change the verb from the present to the past or to the past participle, we have some change in the uh, structure of the verb. For example, uh, verbs like, let's say, buy or see uh, or read, these verbs, see, for example, if we want to change buy, we don't say buy, we say buy, we say bought and bought. And if we say see, we'll change it into saw and then seen. And for red, this is, though we keep it the same, means red, 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 means only the change of pronunciation. Of course, we don't have uh, any problem with the uh, S of the third person singular, just because we add S here, for example, buy, we say buys, or see, we say sees, or read, we say uh, reads, etc. The problem only with the past and the past participle. Though the uh, irregular uh, verb, uh, they themselves are irregular, but they can be classified into uh, categories in order or to, uh, uh, for facilitation uh, to be memorized. So these can be uh, uh, classified into four main groups. The first group, when we have the base, is they say similar to the ED1 and ED2. This is ED1 for the uh, past, and this is ED2 for the past, as we said, participle. The base and the ED1 and the ED2 all the same. We call it number one, all say all the same, or all alike, it's better for abbreviation, all alike means the base and the ED1 and ED2 the same. For example, when we have the verb cut, we change it to the past, the same we keep it cut, and for the past participle again, cut. And for example, we have put, the same put, put, put. Or shed, we have shed, shed, shed. So the first group means when the all alike. The second group of irregular verbs when ED1 is equal to ED2. For example, the verb we have meet. When we have meet as a base, the uh, past for meet is will be met. And the past participle is what is met. And then we have another group of this. The third group of the, uh, the irregular lexical verb when the base equal to ed2 means the base is similar to the past participle. For example, the verb come. The verb come, when we change it to the past, we say came. But when we uh, uh, give the past participle for the verb come, we again ask come. So for example, become. Become, became, again become. And finally, I mean, uh, group number four, when we say all different, all, all different means all from, means the base, the ED1 and ED2, ED2 all different. For example, the verb, let's say, write. You know, the past for the write is what? Is wrote. And uh, written as what? And for the past participle. And for example, speak, spo speak, spoke, spoken. Or drink, drunk, drunk. Or whatever all these, uh, and the majority, most of the irregular lexical verb of this category. This is concerning the irregular uh, lexical. Now we come, of course, from 1.10 uh, up to, this is from 3.10 up to about 17, 3.17. Here we have subclassification of these, means these groups were, are going to, are going to be explained in more detail. Uh, what I want you to keep in mind, you have to keep in mind uh, three main important verbs. Among these, we have the verb hang. This is important. And we have also the verb beer. And the verb we have shine. 
Why? Because for each one has two interpretation. Hang, when we hang clothes, for example, or to be executed, to behead, to cut the head. So for each meaning has uh, certain uh, forms for the verb. For the verb beer, whether the uh, woman uh, having uh, a baby in her stomach or means to be something to carry. Also with shine, shine, uh, whether the sun shine from the east or means to polish, uh, sorry to say polish, for example, the shoes. So for each one uh, has two interpretation and for each uh, meaning has certain form. This is what I want you uh, to keep uh, in mind and try to investigate. In case you have any troubles or explanation, I'm going to answer you uh, via the channel, uh, this channel. So after this form, as we say, from after uh, 3.17, we have the, what we call the auxiliaries. Now we have the auxiliaries. Uh, auxiliaries can be divided, as we said, uh, into type, but in 3.18, we'll talk about uh, three uh, main uh, auxiliaries. The first one is the verb do. When we say do, means not only do, but means also does, and what? and did. Why? Because do as a base and the present and did for the past. Though we have two for the present, but we know this is for the plural and this is for the uh, third person singular. This verb can be, uh, I mean, can be uh, as a main verb or can be as uh, 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 auxiliary. So if it is auxiliary verb, so in this case we use it, for example, in case of in the question. So for example, we say, do you like, say, do you like French, for example? See, we use do here as auxiliary, as auxiliary. Or, for example, to say, she didn't, for example, didn't like or didn't, prefer, she didn't, say, write her, say, duty. See, again, we use what here, did. As what? As auxiliary. Why? Because the main verb is what? Right. As the verb, uh, the main verb here is like. So here, whether does or even we can use did or does, etc. So in case it is auxiliary, this is the first case. The second case, well, this is the, as we said, auxiliary. And or, could, or it could be used as a main verb. The same verb, do, can be used a main verb. In this case, it has five forms, like any other verbs. Means we have base, means we have S form, we have ING form, we have ED for the past, and ED2 for the past participle. As a result, for, for example, here we have do, and here we have said does, and here we have what doing, and we have here did, and we have what done. See? So if it is main verb or lexical verb, in this case, it has five forms. For example, when we say, what are you say, doing? What are you doing? Doing here is what means do, or this one is what means what are you practicing, making an action. For example, I am swimming, you can say, I am swimming. So, swimming replacing what? Uh, replacing doing. So, in this case, this is the auxiliary, and this is the main verb. So, if it is... Uh, uh, as a main verb, we can, uh, for example, have you or uh, did you say, did you, for example, write your say, lesson? If you say, for example, I or yes, I what? I did. So, did means what? Means I wrote. So, then did again can be used as what? As a, uh, here as a lexical verb or main verb. This is concerning the uh, do. Also have, this is the second auxiliary, have, it also has what has a three cases for the uh, have. If we come to the verb have. So when we say, again, when we say have, mean we have what, means we have also has, and what we have also had. Had for the past, and has and have for the present. Have. In case of I, I or you for the plural or you, uh, we and has for the third person singular. Again, the same thing with do. With do. So if it is, uh, it can be used as what 
as auxiliary. So, for example, 